Pennsylvania, students are being sent home with permission slips. Yeah, you know, your parent, you got permission slips for your kids to go on field trips and do all sorts of neat, exciting things. But here, they have to sign a permission slip in order to eat an Oreo. Yep, an Oreo cookie. The American treat. The same slip informs students they are not required to eat the Oreo. And it also includes the Oreo's ingredients on the back. Oh my God, am I crazy to think nanny statism in schools and helicopter parenting outside of the schools has gotten totally out of hand? So they're nuts. This is your crazy Kennedy. Joining me tonight, a man who is laser focused on the issues that I often disagree with. It's Steve Laser, Democratic strategist. He's the radio host of Making Sense with Steve Laser. Now, do you have kids? I do, Kennedy. Actually. I do. You have the children. I you, have you've the children. You've signed these permission slips. I have signed many a permission slip in my day. But, you know, and I'll tell you, a number of years back, what this teacher did might be crazy. But now we have such an exploding problem with obesity and diabetes in this country. Kids, you know, parents are trying to get a hold on their kids' health. Yeah, they are. Trying to, trying to keep their weight down. And I think in light of that, this is actually pretty reasonable. That's not reasonable at all. No, Steve, actually, they're just eating one Oreo. That's it. It's, it's an Oreo. It's not a sleeve of Oreos like I ate pretty much every time my mom went to the grocery store and would bring home Oreos. I would eat I like as many that. of them as I, could, as I could fit in mouth. Yes. Um, uh, no, it's not like that. It's actually, uh, the kids are just eating one Oreo, and the permission slip says they will be using a double stuff, oh, it's double stuff, to simulate three types of plate boundaries. They're studying earthquakes and tectonic plates. Uh, they may not, they may eat the Oreo after the investigation, but they do not have to eat the Oreo. And then it says, uh, my child has permission to eat the Oreo after the science investigation without a signed permission slip. My child understands that he slash she, well, that's uh, racist right there, will not be able to sample the Oreo. Okay, Steve, follow me, follow me down this, this rabbit hole of, of uh, personal responsibility. I'm pretty sure, I'm not certain because I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that one Oreo is not going to cause childhood obesity or diabetes. I Correct me right. if I'm wrong with no, science. No, you're completely right there, but I'll tell you as a concerned parent how I would feel about this. By the way, every parent, every parent is going to sign it and let their kid eat the Oreo because no parent's going to want, no good parent's going to want their kid to be the only one who doesn't get to no, but thank right? God one of the parents took a picture of it and put it on social media. <laughs> well, but how ridiculous schools have gotten. Here's the thing, and there's an important lesson here, and that is, is that the regular foods that kids eat these days have more sugar than the World Health Organization record of their health. So and there's a passion of sanity. So, well, but so, a, so a parent can use this and say, look, the kid's going to get an Oreo at school today. Oh, no! Get the insulin syringe! No, no. So They're going to die! Gonna, if, if, I was, Obama. if I was going to give him a dessert after this, either maybe I wouldn't when the kid got home, or I would give him a slightly smaller portion. Oh, well, that is just wonderful parenting, Steve. You I know. know. Sometimes kids have two desserts in a day. They do. And most of them are to the ER. If a child has diabetes, if a child has food allergies, let me tell you some of the people who are best prepared to deal with those things, kids themselves. Because by the time they realize that they have a deadly food allergy, they've already gone into anaphylactic shock, and they've all got EpiPens and their teachers do, and they know where to sit. Kids are so good about this. But needing a permission slip, every time a child eats an Oreo, I just want to say to my child's teachers, I love you. Because when my daughter had a birthday just a few weeks ago, you let me bring in donuts for the entire class. And you know who was happy? Everyone. I do disagree with you about the fact that the kids are know, know best about how to take care of things. The ones that food allergies do. If, if you allow kids, Free most of them, like you, will eat the whole sleeve of Oreos. Right, and now, I and now I weigh 1,600 pounds, Steve Laser. 1,600. My BMI is 57. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Ken. You know I adore you and your hazel eyes. Coming up, find out.